So we just left Yellowstone and went to Durham Ranch in Wright, Wyoming. You can see all the dust on me. It's very dusty and hot out here in Wyoming right now, but it's a beautiful ranch. They do a wonderful job with their animals. It's actually their herd acts more like a wild herd than, than the herd in Yellowstone. So be sure to stay tuned for the Durham Ranch Meet My Neighbor Farm series because that's going to be a really fun one to watch. All right, away we go. According to BJ, the last time he saw the cows, they're just over here um, west of the corral. So we're gonna head that way first. choose a spot pretty much right here I think before I turn this off a couple things to keep in mind those of you that are gonna get off the bus you can feel safe I wouldn't do this if I didn't think it was safe the, the main thing to that would be concerning to me would be if there was a bull an older bull that was actively in the rut walking growling that sort of thing um, so I like to tell people, just let me be the furthest one out. I'm gonna go ahead and step in closer so I ruin you guys' shots. You're okay if you wanna move out a little? Totally, totally fine right now. Back in the 1960s, I was young, a young boy at the time. Um, uh, our meat company business was doing well. Um, my grandfather, and my dad, and my uncle were all integral parts of running that business and they decided they wanted to um, expand their horizons if you will um, and vertically integrate and so they were looking for ranches to buy cattle ranches primarily the the meat business sold more beef than anything else and uh, they just happened to come across um, a deal on this ranch out here in Wyoming. And so they analyzed the situation. There was bison on the ranch. They were not thinking outside the box at the time as far as species go. Um, and they fell in love with the idea. Um, you know, raise bison and market the bison through their meat company, our family's meat company back in California on the West Coast. Novel idea back in the 60s. And um, so we kind of fell into it serendipitously and um, it became a place where um, sort of from that point on, my family would do our summer vacations out here from the West Coast. And so um, from the very first time I came to the ranch, I fell in love with it, um, you know, big, expansive, just vast horizons. I mean, it was, it left a huge impression on me. Just the mystique and the allure of ranching in general and then the bison um, part of that. And uh, from the very first time it left a mark on me. And so that just sort of cemented in place of, you know, the ensuing years as I was still pretty young um, coming out here doing our summer vacations and you know I just kept falling more and more in love with it and you know it became evident what I wanted to do um, for the rest of my life 
in spite of the fact that my dad thought we needed a lawyer in the family. And I told him I, I, uh, I wasn't thinking along those lines. And when I mentioned to him that I was thinking about making the ranch my career, up to that point in time, we did not have any family members living full time on the ranch. Um, we had hired managers and, and managed from afar um, with their help. And so he put a serious blessing on my thoughts and my choice and encouraged me. Um, so I went to college, got my degree in ag so I could kind of learn the institutional educational aspect of ranching. And then after I um, finished my college degree, then I came and, and lived full time on the ranch. It's got some color to it now, which is good. It's kind of like the, you know, the Wild West cowboy dusty hat. Yeah, now turns. <laughs> Let's take you outside and dust you off. Thank you. 
still looks beautiful. Hmm. 